Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we're making steamed bun burger, also known as Taiwanese gua bao. I grew up eating steamed buns, and I'm telling you, this is insanely delicious. You have to give it a try. An authentic Taiwanese gua bao consists of a few different components. The tender braised pork belly and the fluffy steamed bun are the foundation. Based on that, we will elevate the flavor with some pickles and peanut powder. Let's start with the braising because it is time consuming. I've got here two pounds of pork belly. The store already sliced it into two thirds of an inch thick slabs, which is perfect. Preheat your clay pot over medium heat until nice and hot. If you don't have a clay pot, you can use a stock pot. Place a few belly slabs and pan fry them for one to two minutes on each side. You can cover the lid so you don't get oil splatters all over your countertop. Flip and pan fry the other side. We're not trying to brown the pork belly. We just want to render a little fat out. I have tried browning the belly until golden brown. The meat becomes dry and stringy at the end, so don't do that. Turn off the heat. Remove the meat from the clay pot and check how much oil you got. We don't need a lot, so I'm not going to pan fry the rest of the belly. You can if you want, but it won't change the final flavor. Why bother? A tablespoon of oil should be enough to saute the diced shallots, minced the garlic, minced the ginger. Star anise, cinnamon, and bay leaves. Keep stirring on low heat. When the bottom of the clay pot feels sticky, that's the time to add the rest of the seasoning. Half teaspoon of five spice powder, some freshly ground white pepper, two and a half tablespoon of sugar, a quarter cup of Chinese cooking wine, and five tablespoon of soy sauce. We will also use one tablespoon of dark soy sauce for the color. Add the seared and uncooked pork into the clay pot, and pour two to three cups of water. Adjust the pieces so everything stays under the water. Then put on the lid and wait for it to come to a boil. The pork needs about one and a half hour of simmering, so I put it at the back stove behind me. While waiting, we're going to make the steamed lotus bun, or what we call he ye bing. I've got here some lukewarm water. I just microwaved it on full power for about 15 seconds. We're going to use that to bloom our yeast because I'm using active dry yeast. Sugar is very important as it feeds the yeast. Give that a stir. Let's wait for five minutes. If you're using instant yeast, you don't have to wait. You see the foamy substance? That is perfect. Now let's add the flour. Give that a rough mix to incorporate everything. I'm going to use a KitchenAid to knead the dough because I don't want to damage my wrist. I have arthritis, sadly. Let the machine run on medium speed for about 10 minutes or until the dough is nice and smooth. Shape it into a round ball and let this proof for one hour or until it is doubled in size. While waiting for the dough to rise, we have plenty of time to make the toppings. The first one is peanut powder, which is really simple. Two ingredients, some roasted but unsalted peanut and three tablespoons of sugar. You just combine them together. Oh, I can smell this all day. <laughs> I just love the nuttiness. It's so good. Let's set it aside. We are going to cook the pickled mustard green. It will provide some crunch as well as a little bit acid to balance the fattiness of the pork belly. 
I guess it's kind of similar that the Western people like to put pickled cucumber and jalapeno on their burgers. And yes, you can use those as a replacement if you cannot find pickled mustard green. I always feel that store-bought pickled mustard green is extra salty, so I like to quickly rinse it and squeeze the water out to reduce its sodium level. Of course, it depends on the brand. You can always taste yours before cooking. The pork belly has been simmered for almost an hour now. Scoop out some fat that is floating on top of the brine. We will use that to saute the mustard green. It is salty already, so we don't need any salt. Stir for a few minutes and remove everything to the side. Now let's check the dough. It has doubled in size. Punch to deflate it. Then divide it into 12 even pieces. Each one should weigh about 50 grams. Roll all of them into round little balls. Take a piece, flatten it with your hand, dust with a little bit flour to prevent stickiness. Use a rolling pin to roll it into a flat oval sheet. The thickness is about one third of an inch. Brush some oil on half of the sheet then fold it over. Put the lotus bun on a parchment paper to prevent stickiness. Then put it into a steamer. Before we turn on the heat to steam, we will let the buns proof in the steamer for another 20 to 30 minutes or until it is one and a half times the size. This will depend on your room temperature. Turn the heat to high and bring the water to a boil. Then you can start counting the time for 12 minutes. Turn off the heat and let the buns rest in the steamer for 10 minutes before you open the lid, or else they will shrink once they make contact with the cold air. While waiting, let's take a look at the pork belly. It has been simmered a little bit more than 1.5 hours. It's super tender now. You can break it open by using a pair of chopsticks. All right, let's assemble the burger. Now you can open the lid and take the lovely fluffy steamed buns out. Open it up, place a layer of the pickled mustard green. These pork slabs are very big. You can break it in half by using a pair of scissors. Stuff it in between the steamed bun. Make sure you scoop in some of that flavorful sauce. Sprinkle the peanut powder on the top. Add some cilantro as garnish. I like to put a little bit of a diced red chili. If you don't like spicy food, you can use red bell pepper. Look how beautiful that is. My mouth has been watering the whole time, <laughs> so I can't wait to eat it. Mmm, mm, so good. This is the best steamed pork bun that I have ever had. No one-off, it's just the best. The bun is very light and fluffy. The pork just melts in your mouth, super succulent, and the flavor is incredible very rich and has depth of flavor. I love the tartness from the pickled mustard green and the nuttiness from the peanut powder. The sugar mm, just balances everything perfectly. This is such an amazing treat that everyone should just give it a try. As always, the printable recipe link is in the description. Check it out if you need it. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Soup Up Recipes Clay Pot. It may sound new to you, but the clay pot is a traditional cookware in Chinese cuisine. It has a high heat capacity. The material retains the heat, then redistributes it to the food slowly and evenly. The heavy duty wall allows for better browning. Then you can maintain low heat on the stovetop or in the oven. 
perfect for braising meat, making soup and congee. It can also handle simpler tasks such as boiling noodles, wontons and dumplings. I love the blue top and the hammer design. It functions as a beautiful serving piece that keeps the food warm on the table. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description. Go check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.